Some days on the water are simply better than others. Today's episode of 3B Outdoors, Barry Loop and I are on our favorite stretch of river called the South Fork of the Holston River that runs through my hometown of Kingsport, Tennessee. He refers to these days as epic. I call them awesome, amazing, legendary, or a lot of other words. I'm Nathan Light, let's go fishing. <laughs> This night here might have a little more pull. What a beast of a small mouth. Gotta throw a tight line. Yes. Yes, sir. We're here in Ohio. Yes, sir. It all happened so fast. Boy, the big dog just put the smoke on a big old hole. <laughs> Three B Outdoors is brought to you by Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. All right, here we go. South Holston River, Kingsport, Tennessee, my hometown, big smallmouth, and Barry's jet boat. Usually, when we get over here early like this, it's in February. Man, usually we catch some good fish, but we're not promising anything. But we're gonna sure give them a whirl. Green belt. I knew it was gonna work. It's a good too, boy. Golly, a dog. <laughs> That's a good one. Chatter bait right there, ain't <laughs> Good night, what a fish. They on, they're on the bottom, ain't it? Now, put that crawfish lower on there, they're on the bottom eating crawfish. That's a big one. Very first cast, that chatter bait with the crawfish lower on the bottom. He wasn't coming off. Sugar crawl trailer. He's tore it up pretty good. Just a brown chatterbait. They're on the bottom. There's your four plus. I mean, he's a big one. Look at what a belly. Great way to start out a day. Big one. Chatterbait, sugar crawl. I mean, that fish. Good enough. <laughs> They're hitting them crawfish, they're hunking it in them logs over there. Oh my stars. Oh, that's a that's five pounder. That is a big one. Holy. There you go, son. Look at that monster. <laughs> that is a flipping monster. Good. Enough. Look at the tail on that thing. That tail is six inches wide, dude. That's five plus. See how they're eating that chicken crawl? Chatterbait. We're working these logs. They're not generating. Water's dropped six inches and they've hunkered in these logs. Gosh, big one. Thank you, Lord. Wait, come in there and get you get ready there, buddy. That's the way we do it. Praise the Lord. Gonna make a little run here, people. Nothing, so I guess it'll do a little bit better than we think, but I'm happy with the boat. <laughs> Tools of the tree. You don't want to try this with a normal prop boat, would you? Don't say? try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> you he hooked drilled. up again? Yeah, small one. We'll take him out. Small as in three pounds, but the first two you caught was. I ain't a little bit bigger than that, ain't yeah. you? Yeah, you better get a good grip when you start to swing him. <laughs> swing a three pounder up in there. Uh, that's a good swim yeah. bait, old missing fish. Missing fish, fat fish, but see. Here that's we good. go with the Barry Loop show. Three, three pounder. Missing fish, six inch. Put a little red on it. I like the little red there just to give them a little bit of target. 
You are the man. Well, the Lord's the man. I enjoy, I enjoy catching them though. Just get it done. Keep on catching them. I'll keep on running the camera. Uh, hey, that's all right. Barry Loop had a bad 2016, so uh, I appreciate the, the positive move forward. <laughs> Hooked up, Barry. He's strong in that current. Golly, look at him pull. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna get him in here real quick. He doesn't matter what I thought it was. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. Holy man. That's a far back. <laughs> look how fat that thing is. <laughs> the old mission fish. Good night. What a bass. I like it, man. Let's get another one. Get a big one. Woo, baby. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and throw your little Kitex quarter quarter ounce sinkers on eight pound line. I kind of like a six inch missing fish on twenty. <laughs> All right, now the stinks off me. This portion of Three B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. Whether it's shooting for fun, Shooting for victory. Or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products. Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminox. Light them up at Luminox.com. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's a big one. <laughs> That's a good one. He's long in length, <laughs> four pounder plus. <laughs> right here in my good old backyard, Kingsport, Tennessee, South Fork of the Holston River. February, early February, well mid-February, and they're chomping it. They got the power, ain't they? Yeah, I want you, if you see that shaddy, this not spit up. Looks like that mission fish. See it floating down there? Golly. It's a six inch shaddy spit up. Stay in there. Pull his own on him. <laughs> Stud, man. Fat. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Chatterbait, they're loving that thing. Thank you, Lord. I'm in a battle with a fish, buddy. Look at that. Chunkers. 
fat boys in that current. Whew. I like it. It's been a pretty good day so far. You jumped out of the gates there like a rabbit. I had, I'm having to work a little bit, but I'm making a little progress. I want to tell you a little story. Our first video camera years ago was just getting started with 3B Outdoors. We had borrowed that little John boat up there. Had one camera to our name. Came down here and yours truly was fishing down here with one of these big mission fish swim baits and that little bitty John boat. I stood up like a not so intelligent person. One followed that thing all the way to the boat. I set the hook, missed him, fell out of the boat, lost my rod and reel, and the only camera that 3B Outdoors had at the time. Had an awesome show. I'd like to have it back, nothing else to see the show. Never did find it, so I guess some big small mouse got home on his trophy case. But that is a history moment of 3B Outdoors. Not so positive, but hey, we keep it real. Look at that. What'd I tell you? Did I not tell you to throw in there to be one in there? Oh my goodness. Look at that, uh, baby. <laughs> He's got a mouth full of hooks. Look at that. You're talking about a chub. <laughs> Look at that one, man. Fat daddies. Man, they're healthy. Big old wide tails. Pretty colored up fish. A little white spot on their gill plate there. Whew. I gotta have a picture. This has got to be a Facebook fish right here, so you're just gonna have to wait a minute. We'll be right back. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. In Northeast Tennessee, sizzle of local flavor. Live the heart of its people. Live the adventure at every turn. While you retreat, play, relax. When you visit Kingsport, you live Kingsport. Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminock. Light them up at luminock.com. This is high-speed footage of the Ripcord Code Red and a competitor's fall-away arrow rest. Both fall as designed, but watch what happens to each launcher arm after fall-away. Ripcord's drop-dead brake stops any launcher bounce back, while the competitor's launcher arm bounces back up into the arrow. This will affect arrow flight and broadhead accuracy. Eliminate launcher bounce back with Ripcord Code Red, the number one fall-away rest. 3B Outdoors is stoked to announce a new partnership with Dwayne Wilson, owner of Dixie Custom Rods and Tackle. He builds truly custom rods at an affordable price for any style and action up to the 9 foot 9 inch ledge rocket. For an amazing combination, add one of his new reels to a custom rod. Dwayne's tungsten jigs and weights, the Mega Flash and Dixie Triple Threat umbrella style rigs are proven fish catching machines. Dwayne might even build you one just like the one I use, a 7 foot 4 inch medium action tight lining rod that is totally out of this world. That's a toad, man. Tennessee smallies, baby. He's off like a flash. We're working on the show, Barry. We're working on one. Now, it started out the Barry Luke show. I've made an amazing recovery. Come back from nothing. Got a long way ahead of us. It's not over yet. It's a big one, Nathan, I think. It's a large one. Yeah. The big large tail. Mm -hmm. Green fish. Oh, He's a big. <laughs> He's pulling. He's pulling me. <laughs> I've got the taller rod drawn high and trying to. You bring that way and get down the boat, he'll cut you off. Here 
kill me. Golly. You get him? Yeah, just raise his hand straight up right in there. Easy. Up right. Bam, baby. <laughs> <laughs> let's, get up. let's get up here. Get him some water there, Nathan, if you would. Some rat race. <laughs> we, we got her done though. Huge large mouth. I'd say five and a half probably, I don't know. <laughs> that was close to the boundary. That what do you was not the boundary. Say? That's a good, we got a huge bag of fish today. Just getting started. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's a big one. Wait till you're ready, buddy. I know it's cold water, but it didn't bother old large, large mouth don't bite in winter time. It's like February 18th. Getting ready to go. Got me wet. That I was deserve. a tussle right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tussle. We're getting some predicaments in the river. You just don't catch them and then put everything down. We're going over the rocks, backwards, forwards. I was hung up. <laughs> it was a mess, but it was fun. So glad y'all got to witness that. That's pretty funny. But making the show is easy, though, right? Just oh, making the show is easy. Yeah, there's fish just jump in the boat and we just go home and. Yeah, so just grab uh, your camera and go catch beacons. Yeah, just go catch your 20 pound bag every day. I mean, not a problem. For you non locals, we've came down to the, the lower end of uh, what is now the South Fork, the North Fork joined, and we're at the BAE, British Aerospace Engineering Line. It used to be hosting Army Ammunition Plant, and there's a line there, two signs that you're not supposed to cross to go into the, the ammunition plant, restricted area. Now we got over there, right as close to the line as we could and was casting as far down through there as we could and caught three or four. I don't know if you could see really well or not, but man, we caught three or four and Barry banged that big old large mouth. But I've heard different stories on the legality of going through and not going through. But let me tell you something, we always err on the safe side. I don't want those guys with the big guns and the blue suits after me. It's a little bit late in the afternoon, 2.30 or so. Man, we've had an awesome day catching them on swim baits. Uh, chatter baits, and normally we like to go way upstream this time of year when it's early and the water temps a little bit warmer upstream, but we've caught some really big fish on the lower end. We may not even go too far, but we've got a few hours left, and I think Barry's going to catch a big one. I don't know about him, but, uh, you know, I'm going to try to catch a great old big one, close the deal, show you who's boss, make it happen. Stay with us. We're going to go see if we can run them down in the jet boat. Good ride. Got a big one, Barry. He's going around the boat. Stay down, boy. Stud. <laughs> Come here. I started generating a little bit, and guess what? Back on. Stud. You're talking about a fat belly. That wasn't one of the biggest ones, the longest thing, but you're talking about a belly on a fish. Look at that thing there. He's got a crease in his belly like he's got, I'm telling got a rope in there. That's crazy. Man. Killer. He tagged it, buddy. Boy, they're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, man, that's... Mean, mean. What a belly. She spawned, getting ready, I mean, Front ready machine. for the spawn, didn't she? How's that? There we go. Another one up for the mission fish. Just leave it to me, Brad. I'll tell you. That's, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's the deal there. Flipping jig. You're talking about toinking one. Hold on a second. I've lost a rod here. Now, after all that may have, I've about lost a rod again. I switched up there and flipped one up. Old trusty green pumpkin jig with a chigger crawl. Berkeley chigger crawl. Big smalls. Son, I pitched that thing out there in the line went whoop. <laughs> it was on. Nice fish right there, big boy. 
think. He ain't little. He killed it. He quit jumping. Look how gold that one is. Look, and look how fat. I picked up something different just to do a little different. Got me a, we caught a, that big large mouth I caught had orange crawfish in it. I already had this uh, square bill tied on. So I figured I'd try it a while and then a big fat one come through there. Look at, I mean, they are healthy, fat, thick. Well, 2.5, like it. That's a good one, he's hefty, man. Mm -hmm. Pushing four, I'd say three and three quarter. Oh, look at that, mate. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Stealth is lethal. Specifically optimized for close quarters engagement in tight shot positions, the Triax is the quietest, most vibration-free bow we've ever created. Smooth to draw, silent to shoot, the 2018 Triax. Experience it today at your local authorized retailer. Whether you're spending the day running around at 70 miles an hour in a high-powered bass boat, fishing a competitive stress field tournament, or just enjoying a day on the lake, you can never have enough, Dr. Enough. Well, this turkey out is way overrated. Let's go down to Kearney's and get us some of that roasted chicken. You know what Mike says, seven days without chicken makes one week. Let's go. On a good home-cooked meal, come to Lynn Garden Restaurant in Kingsport. You won't be disappointed. And here's the proof. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Oh, look at that, mate. Oh, we can. <laughs> He's got a mouthful of crankbait on him. Yeah, we, we got a, we're going to work, work on our second 20 pound bag now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's one hook in Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> That's a good one. My goodness. That's a slap. That's a slap. Man, he's. That's a good one there. Look how wide their tails are. We've been fishing about four hours, and I mean, it's just, that's probably our 15th fish, and we probably got six or seven over four and a couple over five. That, it's just, that's a stud there. Man, thank you, Lord. They like it. Oh, okay, you're pretty. Yep, he's another good one. Oh, yeah. They liking the crankbait, baby. Another stud. Come on. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is unreal. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a crawfish pincher sticking, I mean a crawfish antenna sticking out of his. I know the camera can't pick it up, but it's just barely sticking out. That's what they're on now. What a day. Praise the Lord. That's just it's crazy. I'm not complaining though. Thank you, buddy. Oh, that's a stud. <laughs> I'm telling you, son. That's the fish here. And get that son of a gun. 
cool. Here, one hook, but he was double hooked. That fish is cool. That fish is pushing six. My gosh. Look at that thing. Praise the Lord. I, I mean, I'm... I'm speechless. I mean, I, I look what a belly, huge. Let you go to fight again, buddy. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Let loose. The usual nail. Let loose. He's ready. I, I, you, some of those days you just get speechless. You said you had a crankbait just like it in your box, didn't you? I think I'm gonna throw it. Good, because I asked you two or three times, you said, well, I got one. I'm, you need to be throwing that one. Their own orange crawfish. I had that one tied on when I came, and it, it's paid off. Pretty fish. Swinging three pounders. He hit it just quick to hit the water. I mean, since he hit the water, he might look right inside there. A manna and a crawfish. They're, that's the color of the crawfish right now. We've seen several. They're just that orange on uh, some parts of them, so that's what's going on. And they are hitting it, engulfing it. But the last few we've had, just had one hook in them, so. What, what we got here, Barry? Not another small mouth. Another mad small mouth. <laughs> God. What did I tell you? Did I call that or did I call it? Beautiful fish. Good job, Nate. There's a piece or two of the orange crawfish. There we go. I told Barry I said I'm gonna catch one right there. What did I do? I caught one right there on my new plug. <laughs> <laughs> you better hurry, we're going over the rocks. Well, after that wild hand-to-hand -hand combat with those smallmouth, some of you may be saying that's not the same river I fish. I don't catch those big smallmouth over there like that. But either way, that river is full of those big smallies, and days like this keep fishermen coming back for more, creates lifetimes of memories, and costs a lot of money on lures and equipment. Don't miss next week where Freddie will have his stick and string or boomstick or Maybe sitting in a blind trying to stay awake eating crackers to shoot something, but I know you'll like it. I'm Nathan White. Thanks for watching 3B Outdoors. We wake up in the morning before the rising sun. Load up boats, rods and reels, bows and our guns. We're Team 3B. Wanna have ourselves some fun. Big fish pattern. <laughs>